wrestling fans along the network, we've got our second main event just about ready to begin here, and it's going to be a battle of the undefeateds. Ripper, we got Bruiser Brody on one hand, and this man, Antonio Inoki. He's the champion from Japan, and uh, both of these men undefeated, and let's see what's going to happen. Well, this is going to be a great match because Dunbar, everybody knows, and even us from the data book, that Antonio Inoki has never defeated Brody, and Bruiser Brody has never defeated Antonio Inoki, and when this match is over tonight, one of them is going to be a winner, and we'll have to change our data book. This is truly the match of the century, and 20,000 people are like you and I right now, waiting in anticipation of what's going to happen when big Bruiser Brody hits the ring, and there he is, chain and all, big Bruiser Brody heading for the ring. What a big, powerful man he is. He must big stand about Bruiser six Brody. foot seven, 300 pounds. Antonio Inoki looks small compared to Bruiser Brody, but I'll tell you something, this Inoki knows his wrestling moves. He didn't become the champion of Japan for, you know, for nothing. No, he is a very, very tough man, and he knows his wrestling. I've said it a thousand times, inside and out, and this man knows his wrestling too. Sometimes he's a little unorthodox. Sometimes you don't know what he's going to do. Sometimes I don't think he knows what he's going to do. But he is a very tough man to handle, a very top contender in the world today. And right now, they're kind of psyching one other out. The referee's going to check them both over. Peter Takahashi is the third man of the ring now. Look at Bruiser Brody. Now this man, you look at him, you, you wouldn't think that he weighs in around 310 pounds because he's, just look at the way he's built. He's just huge, muscular, and so fast. This man moves around like a junior heavyweight. Watch him. Now he's over 300 pounds. Antonio Noki's about 240. And he's moving move for move with him and step for step. I have seen Bruiser Brody jump about seven feet in the air to level a vicious drop kick. We may see that again tonight. I can tell you, it's, it, it, he moves like a, what you call a caged lion. You never know what he's going to do. You can never anticipate his next move. Bruiser Brody holding on to a headlock now on Antonio Inoki. Antonio Inoki. Moves his man against the ropes. Hurls him off into the ropes. Bruiser Ooh. Brody comes out on top in that exchange. Superior size and weight. You know, to our mainland fans, Dunbar, that uh, want to know what the score is, they can check in with Sports Watch, and like a lot of them want to talk to their favorite wrestler, football right. player, baseball player, or basketball player, whatever. They can always call into the Sports Talk program. It's really where it's at, and if you want to know anything, just... If you want to know the score, just check in with Sports Talk. That's I can right. tell you that right now. Bruiser Brody right now working on that headlock. Antonio Inoki forcing his man into the ropes. Again, hurls him into the ropes. Comes off. Shoulder blocked by Bruiser Brody. Antonio Inoki down to the canvas. Picks his man up. Oh, oh it was a block. Good counter wrestling, oh. but he turned it into a suplex. He went Antonio for the slam. Inoki went for a slam, converted it into a high vertical suplex, and Bruiser Brody took a couple of shots from Inoki. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, you something, it takes an awful lot to phase Bruiser Brody. Well, look at it. just what I was fixing to say, Antonio Inoki. Better not just punch him and stand and look because this Bruiser Brody is sometimes out in outer space and you can't tell whether you've got him hurt or he's just waiting for you to make a mistake. Antonio Inoki, for his size, has got an incredible amount of power on his side. This is kind of a contest between the irresistible force and the immovable object. We'll see what happens here. Antonio Inoki, oh, Look he just that. set that great big size 22 boot up, right? Caught Inoki on the jaw, picks his man up, follows it up with a body slam and a quick cover. Peter Takahashi counts a one. That's it. Going back into that reverse chin lock. It's across the throat now. Is it going to be considered a choke? No, I guess not. He's he's moved it around just enough so that it's a chin lock. Well, I got to tell you, Dunbar, the whole wrestling world is in a buzz about what has happened with Mrs. Leah Maivia, the vice president of the National Wrestling Alliance, and our fans up in Fargo, North Dakota, and Moorhead, and the Winnipeg, Canada area. I'm sure they're going to be happy to receive that news, along with all the other wrestling fans that watch Polynesian Pacific Championship Wrestling worldwide. We cover a billion and a half people, the biggest wrestling program ever, and like I said, the whole world 
is buzzing about that great news. A right-handed judo chop and a forearm smash on Bruiser Brody. He sits there and he's taking it. Look at that, a series of right forearms and Bruiser Brody's not going down. What is this man made of? Ooh, you heard that one all the way to China. Did you see that? Bruiser Brody went to that top turnbuckle. Antonio Inoki trying to find the body part that's going to win this match for him. Now he's working on the left leg of Brody with a series of kicks. Antonio Inoki has used a lot of leg movements to good advantage in the past. One of his uh, finest moves is what is called the jumping high kick, which we may see later on in this match. Oh, we just saw a vicious kick right there, Dunbar. Anoki went for a backdrop, and the bruiser caught him full force. Bruiser Brody coming off with a leg drop right on top of Antonio Anoki. Follows it up with a cover. Peter Takahashi.